Welcome to another tutorial. My name is Lina Kalein and let's get started. This is the little boomer dog we're going to draw and what I've uh, done is I've made a uh, four study of this little dog and I'm using little helper lines for the setup and you will see this will make it easy for you to place the head and the body and the place where the dog sits on so it has a real uh, nice uh, way of looking at this dog okay let's start for the setup of this drawing I'm using a 6B graphite pencil and also an eraser pencil uh, an erase pencil yeah that's correct and I first start out with the little helper lines here you see the vertical line and the horizontal line now this dog is going to be a little bit bigger than my uh, example but what you can see is I'm placing the lines for the belly and the for front paws and a little circle for where the head is going to be I see that the head is uh, not exactly in the middle a little bit more on the right than on the left and here I'm deciding where the mouth and where the nose is going to be I simply look at my example and then I'm going to decide where the eyes will be and the snout is really in front of the eyes so I have to make sure that I'm sparing out this snout hairs. They go all the way down and then I can place in the little ears that are just on the side of the head. I also do this for the right ear and the right ear is just over the face a little bit also this dog has some funny hair sticking out on top of his head so I really want to make use of this they're very funny and I really need them for my drawing here is the position of the eyes I move down taking a look at the shoulders and of course this dog has a lot of hairs so you cannot see the anatomy at all but you can see where about uh, the front paws are and there's a lot of hair going on so I simply start drawing in little lines for the hairs and here you can also see the back paw is just coming around the corner so I'll also place this little paw in this is the line of the belly and then I can place in its left paw You can see how helpful the little helper lines are in this case. And now I'm starting to place in the shadows that are very important. Here for the eyes. And the shadow is kind of sloping down. Just here you can see the little bit of hairs that are coming from around the head and here you can see 
the the yeah it's kind of a scribbly hairy line here underneath the chin there's also a lot of shadow going on so I put those grays in very rough let's take a look at the face a little bit you can see it's all dark there but I'm placing in little shadows for the nose you can just see the nose entrance and I need that to make it look like a nose and what also stands out are the white uh, lower teeth so I really place it in and in this case with this dog it's very typical for him that uh, those, those lower teeth are standing out he has just been running or something or he's looking happy so I place those in very roughly already and for the eyes there's also a lot of darkness so I simply place in uh, dark shadows and not all black but a little bit of, of shine in the eye just a little bit so that uh, the look the dog is, is looking at something and then I move those shadows down below just placing in some kind of, of hair with, with, with rough lines and on the tip of the right ear there's also a lot of shadow the points of the ears are dark and well there's also the, the, the hairs on top of the ear are quite white again and here for the side of the mouth I also place in already uh, some shadow and also the lines of the hairs ok let's zoom out a little bit again and we will simply go on with uh, the, the placing of the darkest uh, points here I'm also placing in a little bit of the tongue you can see you can just barely see it and I keep building up those shadow parts the shadow parts that are most important here also on the breast and because it's it's well it's it's kind of a whitish dog maybe beige um, so it's always hard to, to draw uh, white fur you have not much to go on so in the, the lightest parts of the white hair you use very little lines and then for the darker parts like on the belly you can draw in some more shadow and that way the dog will not uh, look blackish but it will stay looking quite white now what is also very important when drawing white animals any white animal is that you also draw in the background I've speeded up the time here a little bit because the background well it's just as you you want to draw it and it, it doesn't matter what you put in the background as long as you shadow those in a little bit you need the, the background to be drawn in so that the white 
of the dog or any animal you would you would draw that is that is white or very light colored and well that way it will pop off your paper and it will still look white so draw in the background however you want but just draw it in Well, so far, so good. Now it's time to get rid of the little helper lines. So all the lines I do not need and the lines that were helping me at the beginning of the drawing, I will start uh, uh, erasing out now. I do not need them anymore. And now it's time for Yes, <laughs> it's time for the uh, the wiping of your drawing. And I needed to do this in this case because I wanted this dog to and this drawing to be quite um, well soft. It has to be as soft as possible. And. Well, the rubbing of your drawing will help you because the next thing we want to do is to use the pencil eraser and the pencil eraser will enable you to draw in white hairs. So you really, really need to blur your drawing. simply go over all the dark parts but I try to move uh, well keep moving in a way that I was drawing in so that uh, my lines for the hair still uh, show through the rubbing now that I've done this I can draw out the white hairs and especially around the snout and in front of the eyes I can now easily draw these little hairs out this is always the fun part of the of the drawing it's putting in those little detail and all the little white hairs and also this way the dog's really uh, is getting really really fluffy I really love this stage of the drawing because now I can place in all those little detail and I'm pulling out some hairs on the belly and also the little hairs on the side of the dog to um, not have those harsh lines anymore but have real smooth white lines now for the darker details For the darker details I use a filling pencil. It's a simple graphite, 2B or 4B, no it's a 2B and because it's very very sharp you can really draw in for instance in this case the, the eye and then you simply draw next to the white lines you've put in for the white hairs with your eraser pencil. I've really 
very soon in here so you can really watch and, and take a look at how I'm placing those little lines just next to the white hair lines I've drawn in with the uh, pencil eraser here you can see it again just make some white stripes and then just place little dark stripes next to it This is so much fun to do. You can really, really, it is like, uh, like you are drawing in every hair. And I also, I go over the whole of the drawing. I want to make sure that every hair uh, gets it a little uh, line or a little shadow with the filling pencil. I've spoken to someone who has a dog like this and I've heard that they hardly ever lose any hair. So they're quite ideal, even if you're allergic or something for these, for dogs or, or animals. And it's, well, what I've heard is that the little boomer dogs do not lose hair. But uh, as a consequence, <laughs> you have to bring them to the hairdresser now and then. And then you have to cut their hairs because they keep growing. And you can see it here in, uh, in this drawing that, uh, well, they have really wild hair and so the boomer dog is, is very ideal for drawing and starting to learn how to draw hairs on animals. They're magnificent models for this. As I was saying, with the filling pencil, I simply uh, put in all the little dark details that I need. And also the, the hairs on the top of the head, they are so funny. I really want to make advantage of it in, uh, in this drawing. And I keep looking at the the example that I've printed out of this little dog. You can make it uh, as detailed as you want. I always try not to get uh, all the same detail everywhere. I want the, uh, the head to pop out the most. And what I also like is uh, when the light is coming from behind. So here I am uh, erasing a little bit in the background. So it looks like the, the light is hitting from the back. Well, let's have a look. The left ear can be a little bit broader. So I simply erase it out a little bit. And I put it in again. Hey, what you doing? Hello. It's my cat again. So, a little bit wider that ear. And maybe here and there some more whites on the, on the fur if you want. But this is as far as my study is going. I hope uh, you have a lot uh, of, uh, you've had a lot of uh, luck with this drawing and I hope to see you again, of course, in one of my other videos. 
hope to see you again and take care.